Hello everyone, Canberra Ron here. Welcome to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. And yes, this is what it looks like. Now put put down your pitchforks, put down your torches. I'm not usually somebody to play meta, but with Kaldheim around the corner coming up pretty soon, I thought before the meta changes completely, because looking at Kaldheim, there's a lot of cards which I think are going to impact it. Um, I thought I'd take a look at maybe playing some of the current meta. I thought about which deck to play, and I thought I might as well do a follow-up to decks that I hate to play against. And I thought I'd do Demir Rogues. So I took the Zarath Sand the Trickster option. It's pretty much standard what you might see. You've got four Drown the Lock, four Soaring Thor Thief, two Zarath Sand, two Rankle, since I want to keep Legendary as Captain 2, Nighthawk Scavenger at three, Brazen Borrow at three. The only real change is instead of Murphy Wind Robber, I include a Zulaport Duelist, as I'd rather focus, like, rather than focus on Mill, I'd rather focus on kind of trying to do damage with creatures. And also, Zulaport Duelist is another flash card. It works quite well for nullifying attacks, and it does also include Mill, I guess. But it's good to be able to get something through. So, the idea is we're going to be using um, Thieves Guild and Force. We're going to be removing our opponent's plays, attacking with Soaring Thought Thief. When they can't block it, we switch it out for Zara San. And if we need extra card draw, we'll draw, use two. Into, we've got two copies of Into the Story. So, eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to drive our opponent insane. We're going to make. make People hate us. And we're going to go straight into ranked, because this is probably one of the strongest decks right now. So, we'll just get straight on into the games. Oh, and the land is as shown. So, let's get on into it. I'm going to live with this hand. I get a Soaring Thought Thief. I can return things to my hand, so. There we go. Flashing a soaring Thor Thief when they try and play something. Interesting. Okay. So play the Thieves Guild Force here. I like how this is going. Yep, and they're done. The minute you get Zara Sand on the field, game is over. Because I've got so much, in, there's so much in the graveyard I could take. So, yeah, we're going to hop on straight to the next game. That felt disgusting. And keep that hand. I'll have to, but to be honest, I think anything else would be a problem. So, for example, the, yeah. That's fine. So what we'll do is play the dismal back, play the dismal backwater, skip the turn, play the duelist. Seriously. <sighs> oh. 
So I've just take the hit and then play Rank and Master for Pranks, get in with the attack, and then just force and sacrifice an old priest. I'll have to get rid of the Zulpod duels to do it. Thought they might do that. Uh, discard a card, play a creature. I'm going to have to use one next turn, though. There we go. That deals with that problem. Don't need that. I'm okay with that, to be honest. Right, he's played this one left his card. Get rid of that. Oh, they got rid of them. Funny. So it looks like it's always of life gain, clerics, whatever you want to call it. Interesting, he, disc he discards the card that I can see, so. So, whatever he plays next, we can probably get away with countering. So, we just play something cat, which costs all of his mana. Okay. But that's going to cost you three life. Yep, and they're done. They're pretty done at that point. Because just the amount of pressure that you can put on somebody just by using this deck is amazing. So we'll just bounce on to the next game. I can actually keep this hand. I just play Dismal Backwater first, gain the life, and then use Zulport and then into Clearwater. Ah, I could have. Yeah, I could have described there, but whatever. Okay. Dissolve. Interesting. Bag of tricks, mate. Then we'll Zara sound that shit and we'll pull out whatever.
Okay, that's a lot of sanitarium skeleton. Just gonna throw that one out there. Somebody's out for a spookening. Son of a bitch. Mm. Two can play that game. Uh, this card's card. No. Get rid of the Zool Four finally. And we use our sand to take the um, Beastalk Giant. Wait, what? That was odd. Oh, I think I forgot to cast for the ability. That's my bad. Um... That's great that you don't have anything with flying, so I kind of win. Also, yeah. I was just going to remove it anyway. Oh, no, I can't because it's got counters on it. Shit. Yeah, I kind of win it. I think I ended up forgetting to pay... The, I, I flashed in Zarasan and forgot to pay the um, ability cost. That's one's on me, but I won anyway, so whatever. On to the next game. This hand is way too slow. That's also really slow. I'm just. I think I'm just going to have to live with it. And then just play Nighthawk Scavenger. So we get a Temple of Deceit off. Ironically, this is the first time I'm going first as well. I've got enough removal already. I need creatures on the board. So can I kill him? Can I kill him fast enough that I can actually get a... Yeah. Problem is, if I don't... If I'm not able to kill him fast enough, I'm in big trouble. Because otherwise he'll just play Zenith Flare and twat me one. The mind, it looks like he's having a couple of land problems. So... Yeah, it looks like he's just going to try and build up to a massive Zenith Flare. And I'm having a little bit of a problem because I'm not drawing any land. See, that, I figured that would happen. I choose to get rid of the third land because I thought, oh, I'm not going to need it. And then I'm not going to draw any more. At least if we play something like a giant fox or something, I can hit it with a Heartless Act. Oh, wait, yeah, I can just counter the Drown the Lock. That's fine. Uh, drown the, uh, counter the Zenith Flare with Drown the Lock. Nope. 
No folks for you. Interesting. Bye. And this is the point where he top decks Zenith Flare and kills me in one hit. Ready? Are we ready? Yep. Oh, he didn't kill me. Right, I should probably hold up Drown of the Lock here. Because I get the thing he's going to hit me with another one. There we go. You might have another one here. Yeah, I think I think he drew all three in one fucking go. Yeah. He drew all three in one go and then just basically could hit me with it. I could count at one, but I couldn't count at all of them. That's a uh, fucking shame. It was it was always gonna be a case of how quick like Kellen Frey drew his um drew his uh uh they, uh Zenith Flare. I completely forgot what it was fucking called. But um I think the early mana screw did not help. It kept giving me my three drops and digging me a third land, so I couldn't do the damage fast enough. Anyway, on to the next game. This is a keepable hand. We'll play down to see. Hopefully we can get a Soaring Thought Thief off the top or something. We've got Zara sign in hand, so we should probably keep it. So my opponent's taking a mulligan. I'm going to beat up the uh, nice creature. <sighs> Not going to have enough cards in the graveyard by that point.
It's fine. So I'll wait for the inevitable call of the Death Dweller. Oh no, who could have possibly thought he was going to do that? What a shocking move! They're staying in the graveyard, chump. Now here's a master play. If I do it right this time. Yeah, he knows exactly, because I'm going to take the Archmage Vest and I'm going to get his demon for my own. So, yeah, there we go. That was uh, rather quick, rather fun. So we'll see if we can fit one more in. Okay, I was going to record a few more games, but it was I think the next two were two, two mana floods, and my opponent just top-decked perfectly on the third game. So I think I'm just going to have to leave it there, because otherwise it's going to be, like, nothing worth keeping. But, yeah, you can see the strength of this deck. It's incredibly oppressive. It's probably not as strong as it once was. Um, but it's still incredibly powerful. I think probably the other way to do it is to build Lurus. I think probably having Murphic Wind Robber not was probably not a good idea to take that out. Because it's really good for summoning Zarasan. Um, but I think also do I'd probably, yeah, drop Zarasan, put in Murphic Wind Robber and just run the Lurus version. I think that is probably the stronger version. I think the only other card, considering how many of Priests have Flash in this, is to put in Slither Wisp for the card draw, but that's upon the the um that's upon whoever wants to build the deck. So yeah, it's still pretty strong. I think probably yeah, just should have put in Murphy Wind Robber. So yeah, I thought I'd give a hand at Demir Rogues play a meta deck. I think there's gonna be about two more videos after this on MTG Arena and then I'm probably gonna take a break till Carl Time is released. Because I need to uh, focus on building up wild cards and being able to get ready for when the set releases. So I can build the kind of decks I wanna build. I wanna try out dwarves, so and angels. Because they seem to be the two strongest archetypes so far. That and, gi well, Giant Tribal will probably be quite strong as well. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitch. I'll be live tonight from about 8 o'clock. So yeah, thank you for watching. Cambet out.